why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. So, <laughs> so I need I need a concrete definition for this. Now, y'all might think I'm crazy, but no, it, it came. I was watching a podcast and I was just like, oh, my gosh, where's the world coming to? I just need a good concrete definition. What makes a hoe a hoe oh i, I can ask it i can answer that you looking for the old school definition or you just looking for what exactly if, if it helps There's... if it's simple then give me the old school <laughs> okay a girl who's going around she's fucking everybody and everything like there's no real love in it there's just sex like she's bouncing from dudes to dude a lot of times it's because they have money or status like if you're just screwing somebody just to get ahead in life, you are a hoe. It's it's usually a term directed toward a female, but it can be a male. Okay, thank you. Because, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, what? What's up? It was this podcast. It's called I Am Woman, but it's from I Am Athlete, and you Wait. know these are married women. You know, talking about the topic of who cheats more, men and women, and. I love this- and and one of them was talking about how, you know, like, yeah, you know, like you should just date around and stuff like, you know, the men get to do it, but the woman can't. We get labeled do 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 do. And then one of them was like, I think people should just be like J-Lo. And uh-huh. I was like, what was and what's J-Lo like? Right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me go back to the question. He said, who cheats more, men or women? That's that's what the topic was. Who cheats more, that's a bi- or women? That's bias. It's holy fuck. That's so fucking... <laughs> well, everybody does a little something, man. <clears throat> to say anything otherwise is, is fucking... Good Lord. That that was it, though. That was my question. That that was all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But what were they saying the whole was? Yeah, like that. They didn't. They didn't even address that. That's the funny thing. And what am I missing about J Lo? What is J Lo doing? Maybe I'm missing that. So in their minds, they're think they're saying that J Lo is just having her way by you know, dating other men and just leaving if it's not working out. You know, just just the fact that she's having options or just you know oh my god oh, right. yeah man all the things why, in the world why, do these, why do these average ass do nothing chicks think that they're on the same level as somebody who has a personal trainer chefs she can look the best that she can look because they she ain't got time to do anything else but that shaking my and you head. and you and you comparing yourself to her and even her, what is she, 50-something now? She ain't got yeah. no options like she did before. Ain't nobody getting... Why the fuck would you deal with J-Lo's 50-year-old ass when you got girls out here who's 25? Yeah. <laughs> she ain't got no goddamn options. It's like everybody... I don't know what it is with people thinking that the grass is always green on the other side. And and then the thing is, these women, you know, they're married to, to ex-NFL players and i was like wait you're a wife but you're saying that women should be like (laughs) j-lo what one of the things you got to realize um underrated 
most of these women have never had anybody tell them to just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. Mm, don't be me. I'm being honest. You can always tell when you're around, when you're talking to a woman who everybody wants to fuck because they'll allow her to say any stupid shit they think coming out of her mouth is like manna from heaven. And nobody ever tells you, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you know how stupid you sound? Nobody ever says that to them because they want to fuck them. <laughs> All right. So they, they always feel like every, every little thought, every little vibration coming out of their mouth is actually relevant. It makes some sense. Damn. You can always tell when you're dealing with those type of women. It's so obvious. So and that when you see these women on TV, they say this stupid shit because nobody ever challenges them on it. Oh, oh my god. Man. I wanna I wanna ask y'all a question. What's the difference between a marriage license and a prenuptial agreement? Not not too much. Aren't they both contracts? Yeah. yeah. So why is one respectful and the other disrespectful? Because it's more accepted in our society. It's the norm. And one, the norm. one benefits women, the other one doesn't. doesn't. Hmm. Right. Hmm. But they're both the same fucking thing. Right. So and... you had a, there was a girl on, on one of the videos I had seen who was saying, well, I, a marriage is an insurance policy for us because we ain't going to stay hot all the time. At some point, we're going to, we're not going to, our ass ain't going to be as best as it was and our titties going to start sagging. And what, I mean, shouldn't we get something out of the deal? And the guy was like, yeah, I agree with you. I, I totally understand what you're saying, but shouldn't I be able to protect myself mm. with a prenuptial? Oh, well, why you got to get a prenuptial? So, so basically they have zero cognitive dissonance. Mm. They don't even know when they're contradicting themselves. So you can protect yourself. You can make an insurance policy for you. Everything can benefit you. Everything, you know, but when it comes to me, I have to be vulnerable so you can take advantage of me. Fuck you. Mm. Fuck you. And then all this prenuptial agreement. Fuck marriage. Fuck the marriage license. Fuck the prenuptial agreement. Fuck all that dumb shit. Yeah. Unless it's worth your while. Don't do shit unless it benefits you and works out for you. If it don't work out for you, fuck it. I tell you, man. Uh, no, people, like, they, they really got, want to train these boys to be suckers. That's what it is. They want to train these young men to be fucking suckers and play the same bullshit, but like go for this fucking marketing presentation mm. because it benefits women. It don't benefit you. Mm -hmm. And why do you do it? Because society says you have to do it. Why am I getting married? Because, well, I, I guess I should be at this age. I should be getting married, right? Nobody ever stops to think, does this do... Am I making myself happy? Is this for me? Am I satisfied with this? Hmm. But you see, they don't have a problem with it. Yeah. They do not have a problem pursuing their happiness. But do you suppose to sacrifice your happiness to make them happy? Fuck that shit. The sacrificial Fuck that. lamb. Fuck that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I never got that from some dudes. It's like they let their women tell them how to dress, what to eat, what not to eat, what to do. Because they brought the marketing presentation. It's like, bro, I just... Women, I did y'all see... Has everybody seen that movie, Hero? Hero. No, I don't think so. I might have. I don't, I don't Jet know. Lee? Jet Lee is in it. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I see half you... The dude from Ip Man is in it. A whole bunch of people is in there. Oh, um, what's his name? Don't tell me. Ah, oh, damn. Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen, yeah. Yeah. There's a scene in Hero that sums it up, the relationship between men and women. Mm. 
you know, and um, man away from fighting each other. yeah, it, it sums it up because she's fighting him with, and they both got swords. She comes in for the killing blow. He drops his sword and lets her kill him. Lets her put the sword through him. And you know what her reaction was? What? Why didn't you block it? Mm. And you know what my reaction is? Bitch, why are we fucking fighting? <laughs> That's how it fucking insane they are. So it's like she goes in to kill him. He says, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just let it. And then she kills him. And then she's like instantly regrets doing it. When Why do you fight him to begin with? So in other words, you try to accomplish something that if you get it, you're going to be unhappy. Does that sound like somebody who's sane? No. No. <laughs> so a woman will try to conquer you as a man. And then if she's able to achieve her objective, instantly be unhappy. <laughs> so then the, the logical question is for a man is, well, damn. So then why are you trying to conquer me? I don't know. <laughs> no. It's like it's like what I, I think Patrice O'Neill put it the best. He said that a king, if if you if you have a king and a queen, if the woman is in charge, she has to bring the man down. She has to bring the king down in order for her to be in charge. Right. But if the man is in charge, she's coming up with him. He's not pushing the woman down. Right. He can elevate. Yeah. So if, if a guy has a queen, the queen becomes the top chick in the land. If a woman has a guy, if the queen has a guy, all he is is the queen's bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's not elevating him. Mm. And that's, and, and there's nothing to argue about with that. It's a hundred percent true. Yeah. So they'll fight you. And what they want is they want to they want to see if they can beat you, but if they manage to beat you, then they're gonna be unhappy. Then what's the point of y'all fighting? Then why can't we just kiss and make up? Uh, you just you just um expose the whole conundrum <laughs> of the male female dynamic. It's Batman versus the Joker. Simple as that. You just, it, it, I, I, I know, it's how, just let me ask you a question. How sure. many men, young men, are told that? Not many. Not a lot. How many are told to just walk away? Right. Yeah. What, yeah. What they're basically told is that your job here is to please a woman. To make sure that she's good, make sure she's taken care of, provide, provide for her, do all this other shit. That's all you're taught. I see hey, you, I'm out. Wait, and what? you develop trauma, period. Like, um, like for no, instance, I didn't hear what you said. I said, when, like, when I see with, with dealing with women, in my experience, if, if I felt any type of drama, I'm out the door. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's I'm the way it's supposed to be. It. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. Because huh. the, with the jail scenario, you can throw a Holly Berry. I'm not saying that they are, but I'm just saying that these are two of the most highly desired women who are entertainers. They've been, had multiple relationships. No one asks the question of like, you know, are they crazy? <laughs> because no one asks that question because people lust over J-Lo, Holly Berry, but no one asks the question. She's been with Mark Anthony, A-Rod, um, Ben Affleck, Puffy, all these different people. Mm. I mean, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Halle Berry was with David Justice, um, um, Eric Benet, this guy, that guy, this guy, all this other nonsense. No one asked the question of like, all right, well, none of these dudes ain't doing her right. Maybe, maybe they're not doing them right. Oh, shit. Maybe she's out of her fucking mind, which I believe. Damn, so, Ronan. I'm not. I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just asking. Being. I'm looking at it from just a logical perspective, man. 
my cousin proved me on something before. Holland can attest to this because me and Holland, even though we didn't meet, but we used to hang out at the same nightclub. Yeah. So, we see dudes running around nightclubs making asses of themselves, buying women drinks, and talking all this silly nonsense instead of being themselves. Then they get them, and then they find out that, oh, well, all she wants to do is go clubbing every Tuesday, every Friday, every Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? I can't afford that shit. Well, you should have thought about that the first time when you went to the club on a Tuesday night. So, <laughs> my cousin said, she asked me one time, she was like, have you ever thought about it? She was like, Kyle, you ever thought about it? That, you know, you may, some of these girls you may attract, they may even be off their rocker. But you know what? You got a point. But see, this is a problem. Most beautiful women never get told the truth. Mm. So they go through life in a bubble yeah, of stupidity. A bubble. Like like let me let me give you an example. Women will always say this. Well, you met this girl, you went you went to the strip club and you met this girl and you met her as a stripper, so now you got a problem with her being a stripper after you get with her. And I said, okay, that makes sense. But let's flip that around. Let's, let's flip that around and, and look at it from this perspective. There's a guy who you know all your girlfriends want, and that's the reason why you want him. So you managed to get him, and then now you want him to be loyal to you. What's hmm. the fucking difference? Hmm. So don't don't act like don't act like we don't all have our fucking contradictions because you got your you want a man that everybody else wants but then you want that man to be loyal to you. What sense does that make? Mm-hmm. All these rules and regulations. Well, brothers, you know what you know what happens then, sir? They just say blah 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 patriarchy. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah blah. Yeah. Patriarchy <laughs> and think that they're dropping mics. That's what happened. It's that patriarchy shit. I love talking to those girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love having a conversation with those chicks. I, I, they, that's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> oh, shit. I like stop it with the whole man ain't shit bullshit. The only mm-hmm. reason why you say that. Is because the man that you're going for is a guy that every girl wants. And so he ain't going to be loyal to you. He's going to fuck you. He's going to fuck your sister. He's going to fuck your mom. He's going to fuck your best friend. He's going to fuck all of y'all. And now you mad at him because he ain't being loyal to you. You wanted him because everybody else wants him. <laughs> so you're getting exactly what you fucking deserve. Guys know this. No, every guy on this phone knows that if you're dealing with a 9 and a 10, you don't think that every time that bitch walk outside the door... 9s and 10s is a lot of work. I work never work. Thank you. 9, 8 and a half, 7. Hey, uh, adjustable 6, as Kevin Kevin Samuels would like to say. That girl can go and dump the garbage outside of your apartment and there's going to be a dude rapping to her before she gets back into into the apartment. Let me talk to you about some land infrastructure. Because he, he's there. probably sitting in his house, standing by the door, waiting until she go out to dump the garbage. <laughs> Guys know this. Yeah. We know this. We don't, we didn't, we're not under any illusions. If you got somebody that, uh, if you got a, a girl that a lot of dudes want, that's a whole lot of fucking work. Better, better hope she's home, buddy. That's why me, all I'm concerned about is what I want. <laughs> That's all that matters. I don't give a fuck what you think about my girl. As long as right. I want her, if I'm attracted to her, that's all that fucking matters. All that working nonsense. Facts. Mm-hmm. And me personally, I'm turned off by girls that want to be seen. I don't like loud chicks and I don't like girls that like to be seen. So automatically I'm if you got an Instagram and you're on some you know, some loud chick shit, you automatically scratched off the list for me. Word. <laughs> 
I don't like loud women. What the fuck are you loud for? Yeah. That's a definitely turn that's a definite turn off for me too. Like I no. Here the hell you deal I remember one time as a girl, my cousin hooked me up with this girl. And we went out numerous times and stuff like that. I think maybe like the sixth or seventh day, I could tell something was up. Like her you know, just the vibe. So mm-hmm. I asked her, I was like, So what's the problem? She's like, What are you talking about? I was like, Your whole vibe is different tonight. She was like you know, I was like, you're not going to hurt my feelings, just to be honest. She was like, all right. She was like, you know, you, you're very, you know, you, you, you can talk about honor and manners and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, so that's that's how I roll. I have a, you know, I have a code. So she was like, yeah, I find that, like, disturbing. Like, like disturbing how? She was like, I don't think, it was like, just imagine if you were out somewhere in public, like, just walking and someone said something slick or whatever. I don't think you could defend yourself. Mm. So I'm like, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? She was like, yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, I'm like, and I was like, you know, all right. So we finished dinner, and then I told her, I was like, you know what? I was like, um, I was like, call my cousin. I tell her what you told me. So on my way home, I called my cousin. I was like, yeah, your girl's a flake. And she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, she's a flake. I was like, cause she likes thugs. So um. Like for real? I'm like, yeah. She's like she's like, well, what'd you say to you? I was like, she basically told me that, you know, she doesn't think I could defend myself and we like if someone says something rude to her or something like that. She was like, Yeah, I'm like, yeah. She's like, Did you tell her what you used to do? I'm like, no. I was like, No, she'll call you and then you at then tell her what you know, the past. So she talked to my cousin, not even the next day, blowing up my phone, like, Oh, you know, I got <laughs> oh wow. I talked mm. to the cousin, this, this, and that. You know, we need to go out. I'm like, no. She was like, why? I'm like, because what you want, that's not what I am. I haven't been that in a long time. I was like, so you can't have it both ways. I was like, first of all, and at the time, I think I was like 41. I was like, I'm 41 years old. You know, I have no problems, and I, I make that clear. I have no problems. If someone wants to step to step into the circle of safety, I will send you on your way to the hospital in a, in a, in a goddamn ambulance. Oh, Glad shit. to do it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't go around looking to get in physical altercation. That's not how I roll. I was like, that's not how I live. I was like, I have a daughter. I'm not trying to put. I don't want my daughter thinking that her father is a goddamn brute because that's not what I am. And people misconstrue that. They think, oh yeah, yeah, you like fighting and stuff like that. No, I like beating people's asses when they put their hands on me. Hell that's yeah. No problem. I was like, but that's not how I roll. What I did yeah. in my late teens and twenties. Is not what I am now, and I haven't been that in a long time. That's what she liked. She had a specific type. You can't have it both ways. You can't have the suit, you know, uh, the guy who's you know well read, but the, you know, but he spends his other hours running around mm-hmm. playing Billy Badass. It don't Ghost. exist. Mm-hmm. Right. And not only that, she she was basically telling you what she wanted to do. She wanted to start some shit out in the street. And see if you're gonna be so you can be kind of so nigga. you can be fighting. What kind of bitch is that? That I want to be spending my fucking no. Fuck that. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah. Get away from me. It's it's like certain chicks. That's how you, you get say. niggas killed. That's how you get niggas killed. Yeah, there's some bars out here that are really fucking foul, yo. Like that's some that's some fucked up shit. It reminds yeah, me. Hey, ain't nobody really fighting nowadays. Motherfuckers are shooting each other, bro. Oh, shit. That's just it. You, we live in an era where you got people. Again, it's all about who has the platforms. You got people on the platforms talking silly, bull, reckless bullshit and not thinking about what they're, you know, that's like me saying that, you know, you know, so say some crazy shit. Like, you know what? I like to drink gasoline. And people are like, wait, whoa, you like to do what? Like, you know, I didn't even think about it. Oh, yeah, you know, just saying shit and not thinking about the ramifications of what you're saying. Mm. Just get out there, say some reckless shit. They got these TV shows, people acting a fool. Yeah, pranks. People, people playing pranks that will fucking get people killed. Like that little white boy who was in the hood, who was going up to all the black people, trying to go in their pockets and shit. They were beating the shit out of them. I remember that coming out like a few years ago. One of those white boys got killed in Brownsville. Oh, I, 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 I assume so. That's like a that's some dangerous shit. 
on a pr- on a prank shit. Yeah. But if anybody knows anything about Brownsville, that's the last place you need to be pranking as a white person. First of all, you don't even need to be in Brownsville if you're white. <laughs> Are you gonna go there pranking niggas? Asking for it. Yeah. And I saw I saw one prank in particular that oh my god. I was saying, under luckily they it, they dealt with the right type of person because if this was another type of person, they could have got this guy who was involved. They got this guy who was a bodybuilder, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a girl and her stupid ass who, who who arranged the prank. What she did was she had the bodybuilder slap her on the ass in front of her man. What the fuck? Mm. And I'm like sitting there going. Only a stupid bitch would do a prank like that. Because first of all, what you got to realize as if this is something, and this is why women don't understand men. If I'm in a situation like that and it's, and you got a guy that big, what do you think I'm going to do? Engage in fisticuffs? I'm going to kill that nigga. Yeah. I'm going to shoot put, big ass. She putting the, she putting the bodybuilder's life in danger. She thinks that, that she's playing a joke on her boyfriend. She, that dude could have killed that nigga. You ain't going to let nobody disrespect your girl. I don't give a fuck how big they are. But if you can't beat them physically, you're going to find a way to take them out. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to risk all of that off of a fucking prank? And, and what's worse and what's worse is that this kind of shit is condoned in our society. Uh, oh, they have free speech. Oh, they, uh, they have, you know, they can do whatever they want. Oh, you know, it's just... Maybe I'm not saying articulating that correctly, but this kind of stuff is it, it's really it's it's enabled. Nah, what it is is clout, man. And the perfect example of clout was that video that I posted up. I don't know if you all saw it, where the woman took her son. She had her son that's out the vet, and his, I think the dog had cancer, and the dog was dying. In the refrigerator. Um, wait, what did you say? You were talking to me? No, no, I'm talking to my lady. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, um, the, did you, it was a girl, the lady, um, she was like a, a mom, and she does like these mom podcasts or whatever, and she had her son outside the vet. And they did a little oh, yeah. live stream um, with her telling the people that the son's dog was getting ready to die, so he was crying, right? So when the video, she thought the video was cut, the guy who was filming it kept, kept filming, mm-hmm. and she's telling her son, oh, make like you're crying, I need a thumbnail for the video. Wow. And he's and he's like, I am crying, mom. He said, no. She, and she was basically trying to show him how to cry so she could create a thumbnail for the video. Mm. That's what we no, dealing sick. with. Yeah, it was That's sick. what we like, dealing with. Some sick ass shit. That's the type of mentality we dealing with. Motherfuckers are so interested in other motherfuckers and clout chasing and, and popularity that they will do anything for fucking attention. You can't compare to the status right here. Legendary worldwide. We can battle right here. Listen, Junior, I'ma tear back your wig. This ain't TV, but I'll show you what a fear factor is. Stop grilling me. And all that fronting is killing me. You leave me no choice but to hurt your feelings, G. About to slap rappers around and improve the game. What? What?